weather have gotten worse. This morning, NBC's Today Show aired a lengthy story about Jim Gibbons, and then the story ran on NBC Nightly News with new details about the allegations of bribery being investigated by the FBI. Tonight, News 3's Steve Krupe caught up with the governor for his reaction. It got huge exposure on national news this morning. Uh, it's an old story. That is about all that Governor Jim Gibbons would say tonight about NBC's story. It is the top item right now on the network's website, and Lisa Meyer's interview with a potential witness in the case is giving new emphasis to allegations that Gibbons accepted illegal payments from a defense contractor while Gibbons was serving in Congress. One of those payments allegedly happened here during a lavish week-long cruise. There was a lot of alcohol and a lot of drinking, and... Um, that's when I first saw Warren give Jim Gibbons money. How much? Close to 100000 How can you know? Because he gave him casino chips and cash. Are you sure about what you saw? I'm absolutely positively sure. The man who allegedly delivered the bribe is this man, Warren Trepp, who's currently feuding with his former business partner, Dennis Montgomery. Montgomery says he has far more than just his own eyewitness account of Gibbons accepting a bribe. He says he has provided the FBI with documentation, including incriminating emails involving Warren Trepp and money earmarked for Gibbons. Why should we believe you? because I know what happened for the last five years and I can prove it. When asked about accepting this expensive cruise and being caught on camera partying with alcohol in his hand, Gibbons had this response and then walked away from today's press conference on transportation funding. You know, if, if we all couldn't have a good time in life, it would be pretty darn boring, Molly. <laughs> all right, thank you. Steve Krupe, News 3. To talk about this more, we're joined by the RJ's John L. Smith. And John, this is embarrassing for a couple of reasons. First of all, on the Today Show, they kept saying Nevada. <laughs> Second of all, while there's not a whole lot of new information revealed in this national story, it's on the national stage. Oh, it sure is. If, and if you're going to embarrass nationally, please pronounce the name correctly. <laughs> uh, you know, Jim Gibbons uh, has a very, very low approval rating in Nevada. We know that. It's about 28% according to everybody's poll. Uh, but the bottom line is, can it get lower? I don't know. This doesn't help him in any way, and the timing of it is amazing. Just when he's getting off the floor, just when he's announcing a road bill and the, and the tax shift at the LBCBA, controversial in itself, uh, here, here we go with a national news story that slaps him one more time. Well, here you have Warren Trepp's former business partner saying he saw $100,000 being given to Jim Gibbons. How credible is Dennis Montgomery? Well, Trepp's side of the story is he's not credible at all. He's a disgruntled former, former employee partner. But the bottom line is, uh, if you look at that report, uh, he, he sure appears credible, and he's risking, uh, if he's lying, if he's doctored email, as Gibbons has claimed, uh, then, then certainly he faces uh, charges, federal charges, because the FBI is investigating this. Uh, it, you know, I thought he was very persuasive, quite frankly, and uh, he certainly isn't backing down. Since January 2nd, there have been rumblings of a recall. This has to increase that. I think it's going to feed that. I think it's going to be very difficult to have a recall, and it's almost better news for the Democrats if there is no recall, because Jim Gibbons right now as he struggles like a bug under a glass <laughs> trying to get anything done at the legislature it's better for democrats it's not good for nevada all right john l smith